Hi everyone! In today's episode of Carmel So Casual, I will be sharing with you some of my sewing essentials. So for today, I'll be sharing with you some of my sewing essentials to start with my cutting tools. So these are my cutting tools, Taylor's scissors or shears. This one, this one I like. It's okay, guy. This is my first like official, <laughs> official, if there's such a term, official cutting Taylor's shears or Taylor's scissors. Okay, so this one's very light, very magaan, and at the same time, very sharp. So this one's my favorite. This one, so very heavy, pure metal siya, but this one is good when you're cutting denim and all those thick fabric. I also have with me my thread clipper. This one comes handy, so sometimes I also cut not only thread, but sometimes the very uh, small like fabric and my recent purchase which I really 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 love as of the moment I started uh, learning sewing uh, I really wanted to have this but at that time you know online stores or on buying online is not uh, that uso pa. So, wala. There's no Shopee yet or Lazada or whatever. So, I wasn't really able to find one from my city. But this time, thanks for Shopee and Lazada, I was able to buy with me my rotary cutter and my self-healing mat. And it's very nice if you have this uh, this one's very sharp too. See? This one is very sharp really. Nasamad na ko actually. So, this is as good as your scissors. And especially for cutting straight fabric. Uh, straight fabric. For, for cutting uh, something that's really have to be straight. So, this one comes very, very handy. By the way, the price of the self-healing mat and the rotary cutter, I'll be showing it here. Just in case you're interested to buy one. Next, of course, manila paper. So, you'll be needing one in making your pattern. So, talking about pattern, aside from your manila paper, I also have with me rulers. These are the first batch of rulers that I bought when I started uh, my sewing career. Char, sewing career. <laughs> so this is my French curve. L square hip curve. Aside from this, I also have these set of rulers actually given to me as a gift. Shout out to Anne, Mary Anne, who gave me these set of rulers. Okay, two, uh, huh? a set of two different... <laughs> Huh? Kalibog. <laughs> but uh, this came in two different sets. These are very helpful. The disadvantage of the wooden ruler, it's not really that accurate. Especially the L square, I have problems making perpendicular lines and making patterns. So I don't highly recommend it. But it's cheaper than these type of rulers of course but if you can afford <laughs> but if you can afford uh, something like this then might as well uh, buy buy the set I think you can find this in Shopee and Lazada for like around 500 to 600 per set this one is very important you should have this this is really the basic lines that can actually be your guide also in making your patterns. Also use this type of ruler. This one I really like because it's like complete. can make a straight line. I can also have with me in this ruler my French curve. This is my French curve and my hip curve. So this is like three-in-one ruler, which I really, really love. These type of ruler, I highly suggest buying if, if you are really into uh, this type of hobby, this box. Ta-da! 
Okay, so actually, no, it looks kind of big, but half of it are just wait, just my threads. So through time, I have gathered different types, different colors of threads. Some are new, others are used. So see, there. Ken ka ayoko mga different colors of thread. That I'll be showing you some materials I have here. I also have with me here some of my needles. These needles are for my industrial sewing machine. So if you who are curious what type of sewing machine I'm using, I'm using an industrial sewing machine, Juki to be specific. Shout out to my mom who's been very, very supportive from day one of this hobby of mine and she bought it for me for like around 13 or 13, 13 to 15,000. Basana lang diha. Industrial sewing machine is um, kumbaga heavy duty type of sewing machine. But if you want, there are a lot of portable sewing machines in the market. 2,000 to 3,000 pesos. And it's decent already. Aside from this type of needle, I also have with me this one hand needle. I also have with me this one. These are my embroidery needles. Thank you Shopee. I also bought this in Shopee since I like uh, embroidery also. They're very dull. Okay. What is so special about embroidery needle is the eye of the needle is uh, bigger compared to your regular hand needle because you will be using your embroidery threads. So, embroidery threads are thicker depends on what type of embroidery stitch do you want. But, yeah. And, I also have quilting clips. If you remember in my, when I made some pouch, uh, I used this instead of using pins to secure the fabric and the material in place because pins cannot do the job since the material is very thick. So this will come very, very handy. Lots and lots. I don't know if you can see it, but and I have plenty more. <laughs> and lots and lots of uh, bobbin winders. Ang makasapot when you start your sewing project and then in the middle of it, mahorot ang imong babin. Mm. And of course, I also have my tape measure. This, for quite some time, I got so uh, obsessed. Ba? I've got so yeah obsessed with pins. The first pin collection that I have are those with uh, circle heads, but I kind of have little of that now. Instead, I've been using uh, pins with flat heads. I've been using these pins now. For quite some time, I've been very obsessed with uh, pins because pins will become your, your, your best friend when you start sewing. Second to the last, I have with me my fabrics. I have stretchy type of fabric, satin type of fabric, cotton type of fabric, and all those stuff. And lastly, I have with me my carbon papers. These are British color paper, ha? Huh? Uh, Taylor's carbon paper. I think tracing paper. Yeah, I bought this online too. This one. This one is very important, especially uh, in making patterns, in transferring the pattern to the fabric. So, you'll be seeing more of these soon in all my sewing projects. So, that's it. I hope you like our episode for today. And, you know, just continue to do what you love doing the most, especially in this time of pandemic. There are others who has been very passionate for plants. That's why we have plantitos and plantitas. Others uh, revisit their skills in 
baking and all that and I think that's very helpful especially in the times that we have now it's better to stay at home and do the things that you love doing diba? so that's it for today's episode I hope to see you next time here in Carmel So Casual bye it's very gaan French. <laughs> Wait. Wait. So this especially when you're making <coughs> <coughs>